Hey guys, Chris here from Spartan. You might have just watched Elmer's 10 minute personal record with the 20 kilo bell. And so what we're gonna do now is help her recover, help her open up her shoulders, correct some of the mobility. You might have noticed right hand to left hand is a little bit stiffer. And that's what we're dealing with at the moment, is trying to help Elmer create efficiency and a safer and more efficient lockout, especially when it comes to lifting the heavier weights. So you can just follow along. These are some really nice, easy exercises, especially after you've done a heavy session. You just sit in front. So it's like we did. Yep. Tucking the hands behind the head, elbows in, and then stretch right back. So the idea is to try and get your head to the floor. Most people should have this amount of mobility, and if you find you don't, this is definitely something to work on. It will help you lock out. Good, come up again. Just want you to do that two more times. So stretch right back. Okay. Good. Come up from there. Bring your hands a little bit higher on your head, so about to there. Good. And reach back. stretching through the thoracic spine, it's always a good idea to roll up and down along that area, especially where it's tight, so you might feel it lower back, middle or upper, and by hugging your body you're actually exposing those muscles to the foam roller, or if you're using PVC pipe or even a club belt would be fine. It would be very painful. <laughs> does not get caught. Okay, and do that stretching. The last same thing again, hands on your head and just stretch back. Just open up as much as you can. That's it. Good. Okay. Lying long ways this time. Yep. 
you just sort of roll backwards and forwards a little bit right under there to lift your arm up. Yeah, place it on your head. And just roll along. Rotate your body around the fraction. Yeah, and go back. That's right along your lat, which go which is rotating on its own. Oh, that's nice. So come back down to where your shoulder is. What I want you to do is find a spot underneath your shoulder where you've got a bit of pain, and then rotate down and rotate up, and that'll get the ligaments to move over each other. This is a really, really important drill to do, especially for you at the end of the training session, because they get compressed and locked up when you're overhead, especially heavy yesterday and long set today. So just, it feels really uncomfortable to start with, but eventually you'll get more movement through your shoulder. And if you feel like you missed the point, you can just roll backwards and forwards a few times. Side started looking yes. really good, and then it went back to being more in front of your body. And your right side stayed exactly the same. Yeah. That's weird. yeah. No, that's, I don't think it's weird. I think it's good. I think it's interesting. <laughs> it's good to see the way your body is reacting. I think those, if we can make some micro changes to your training, you might get a bit more efficiency out of your lockout, which would be especially good when you go to the 24. Yes. So. Just wave to the camera if you want. I'll you know put a bit of a presentation up. This is Linda. She likes interrupting our videos as many times as possible. You might have known her from such videos as the Apple Bag or the Jungle Gym. You can find out more about Linda at Kettlebells. That's in you. Is it enough? Okay. Ah. Let's relax your arms over the top. And the idea is to twist your upper body in towards this knee. Okay, the reason we kneel down is we don't want our hips to move. We want just to be the upper body. Twist in, come back. The first time you do, you're like, uh, there's hardly any movement. So, a bit further, a bit further, and after about 10 reps, you should feel like you're getting a lot more movement through your back. Too short? No, that's okay. Just hang your arms over. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go to the end. It's just where you're comfortable. So you feel that stopping point where your body yes. reacts. That's shoulder and chest and then through the back. 
nice. So you've got a little bit more movement then. Just breathe out each time. Each time you go through. Yeah, nice. Good. Okay, switch. Oh, oh that's yeah. stiffer. Yeah. That's it. Just relax. So on your own, you can maybe do that two or three times if you find that you're not getting much movement. The last one, down to your knees. I just want you to put your hands out in front of your body. Oh, I'm just going to put some pressure on your back. So you should feel that stretching around and down through there. Okay. No, no, no. I would have said something if it was important. 